Hello, this is Paul, Inventor 3. I don't know why I feel compelled to tell everybody that at the beginning of every video, but I do. Anyhow, let's see, over this winter here, uh, I've been working on well, one project I can't talk about. This other project here is a self-charging uh, capacitor, an electret cell. Um, uh, well, I only got so much time in this video, so I'm not going to explain what an, an electret is. Uh, but the best definition is to just look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, let's see, I'll try to sum it up as fast as I can here. An electret is uh, basically uh, an, a material that you apply a specific amount of heat to uh, simultaneously applying a high voltage DC current uh, and the material having properties of that of a magnet which uh, it has the ability to have molecules uh, line up north and south. Okay, anyhow uh, if you look on Wikipedia, uh, halfway down it talks about uh, manufacture. Um, well, first, let's see, I'll come back to that. Right first, I got this these instructions from Creative Science and Research. Uh, this, we have been told this works. Fuelistpower.com. I uh, can't show you any more than that because you have to pay for these instructions. I did not. Uh, they were acquired through the grapevine. Um, anyhow, uh, it's believed that this has been used in World War II by the Japanese in the field to power their phones. Um, and... Uh, basically, you're supposed to use carnabaw wax, carnabaw wax, um, one of the hardest waxes there are. They use it in a lot of polishing. Um, oh, I meant to say right off the bat that this doesn't work. Okay, so you're not going to see anything here today. This this was this did not work at all. So if you want to pass up this video, please do. Sorry, I've already wasted uh, two minutes and something of your time. But uh, okay, now I can continue. Uh, this was a lot of trial and error here. I don't know. I'm tired of this project. This took me two and a half, three months. If somebody else wants to take it on, that's why I'm telling everybody about it. They might be able to skip out some of the mistakes that I've done and go right towards this and try to elaborate on what I have here. Uh, okay, first of all, it's about uh, seven, it's about eight inches diameter, and the wax itself is approximately five eighths, point six twenty five thick, and the copper plates are approximately one. -third. 32nd of an inch, point, uh, 0.032 or point zero three one two five, whatever, uh, close enough. Um, there's uh, instructions I feel were quite vague. Uh, I went above and beyond the instructions and did everything even much better. Um, Started out with, uh, you could use uh, uh, lucite plastic, but the best to use is Conabaw. I got it in flake form. Uh, there's another plate down there. Uh, this was my third plate, by the way. My first plate, uh, I cooled off, took it out of the oven when it was uh, done, and let it set it on some wood and let it cool off. and. Uh, came back in the next morning and it was cracked. So you, you have to let the wax cool very slowly in the oven itself. Uh, use a grill. First I used this little toaster oven. Uh, no good. You need more room. Uh, you gotta have everything perfectly leveled too to make sure that the wax in the pan uh, isn't like a lot thicker 
on one side than on the other side of the disc so that's why you got to make sure you have the pan and the oven perfectly level when melting the disc uh, my first disc cracked second disc was okay but then there was sparks jumping from the plate around the disc to the bottom so I had to cut these copper uh, plates a little smaller in diameter and I had to make a thicker uh, disc wax uh, my first ones were like only half an inch thick 0.500 this one here like I said is approximately 0.625 thick uh, your, your pan is never going to be perfectly absolutely flat on the bottom uh, first I did that pan and then the second time I used this pan um, so your wax is gonna have some dips in it it's gonna be raised up along its edges from surface friction it's going to massively constrict when it dries so you also have to compensate for that factor yeah, I've learned all these things the hard way. Uh, many clamps going around and the copper is thin enough to flex to form and match with the contours of the wax surface. Because after you have your wax disc, then you have to put your copper plates on there, put all the clamps on, put it in the oven and at the same time then I used that NST underneath that blocks of wood there uh, 15,000 volts 60 milliamp instructions mention low DC current whatever they I don't know what low DC current is I mean how much more vague can you be but anyhow so I added a one mega ohm resistor and a string of 40 diodes. Uh, I think that if I remember correctly they were one N uh, 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 one N uh, R or one R or what the heck one N R four zero zero seven or they're rated at 1000 volts each. Um, so very dangerous experiment very dangerous though you have to all have all details thought out uh, the stuff stinks do not do it inside anywhere I mean it stinks bad uh, I had some dusk masks there but that's not really like a gas mask um, let's see what else can I say about this if you look up on now yeah that's what I was saying if you look up on Wikipedia uh, it'll mention about under uh, if you look up under Wikipedia Electret to scroll down you'll see under manufacturing uh, oh boy I only have a minute and a half under manufacturing says about heating up the wax beyond the point of melting now I did have it hotter than the point of melting in the oven but whether or not you know the wax is not above that point otherwise it would have completely melted out uh, you could see I got it as hot as possible though I did have it in the temperature in there above the, uh, this conibaw, uh, uh however you pronounce it uh, this wax uh, melts at uh, 175 185 degrees uh, Fahrenheit uh, so that's that's the only other thing which would be a much much more complicated design if you wanted to actually apply that voltage to that wax while you heat it up to a point above melting that's a completely different design now uh, one other thing they mention is uh, uh, adding two other elements I forgot what they were but that's the only other thing uh, that I could possibly try is uh, coming up with another design to, to be able to uh, have this where I could heat it up to a point beyond melting and to add those other two elements so I'm running out of time right now, so next video will be more interesting. That's about the Electret cell that didn't work.